Hello, you guys. I'm here with David Reese, pencil expert, author of How to Sharpen Pencils, here to give us a demonstration. So we're going to do that and also answer some questions that you guys have from YouTube. So um, what are these? Uh, well, these are pencils. You can hold it if you want. Thank you. Does that feel familiar to you? Um, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Okay. I remember this. You got it. But Looks before great. you use it, we should maximize its utility and its aesthetics by sharpening it. I agree. I mean, otherwise, otherwise it's just an eraser, really. Well, it's a bit more than just an eraser. Not I mean, it's also a it. cedar shaft. This is true. And a ferrule. The metal part that connects the shaft of the pencil to the eraser is called the ferrule. But as far as practical uses, it... Enough foreplay. It... Sharpen the pencil. Oh, I'm going to do it? Yeah, I want you to do it. Can you figure out how to operate test. this device? Okay. So this thing moves. Exactly. Oh, I see. And there's a blade. There's a razor blade right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna. This seems small. That obviously this doesn't fit in there. Right. It doesn't fit into there yet. Yet. I right. see that, that will be where we make it really fancy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Um. So I assume that it sits here, and then am I just gonna shape it like this? I'm I would secure the pencil shaft. Secure. Hold the, it in place. Okay. Right. Secure the shaft. And then um, simply start uh, slicing away at the Shall pencil. Shall I use this or this? No, this is just the screw. Yeah, the, the, you really need to stop fixating on the screw. I'm sorry, okay, it's that just really so shiny. is not. Uh, I agree, it is shiny, but but shiny things are often the most dangerous things and the least useful to our to our self improvement. Like this is just hardly so useful. So focus on this handle here. Got it. And and simply begin cutting away the wood at the end of the pencil. That feels really good. Right. Feels really good. Our goal here is to expose the graphite core in the pencil yep. and shape the point so that we, we have, can use the we pencil. We have the same goal. We share that goal. Uh, and now do I rotate this puppy? Or? I'm glad you asked that, and the answer is yes. You need okay. to continually rotate the shaft of the pencil, of course, so that the point is even. I'm rotating the crap out of this thing. OK. I'm really just, oh, that one felt not as good. Isn't it so interesting how quickly the you recognize a satisfying stroke? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Versus an unsatisfying or a truncated or, yeah, or a maladaptive stroke. And see how it's starting to look, it's starting to look like a sharp like pencil. Like a, a, a pencil. We are seeing the I'm iconic. Doing it, you guys. We are doing the uh, we're seeing the iconic scalloped edges <gasps> and of, the, of the bottom of the pencil point, what I call the thing. collar bottom where the straight sides of the hexagonal shaft are giving way to the conical surface of the exposed cedar point. Now, we don't need to go, Sorry. We, you know, crazy. I just want it to be done. You, we I mean, not, I just want to, not that I want to hurry the process, I just can't wait for, to see the tip. You, you, I understand, but yeah. you really should take your time. Okay. Linger on these delights. Okay. Don't push yourself. That's a really good life lesson. Other than, I mean, I can see how this translates to just a lifestyle. The pencil is an extremely potent metaphorical object. Yeah. And sharpening the pencil affords us opportunities for reflection and renewal. When you see a mechanical pencil, do you like gag or what happens? You know, I have a whole chapter in my book on mechanical pencils. Uh, chapter 11, a few words about mechanical pencils. Uh, you can read it to sure. your viewers. I'll read the whole chapter. Mechanical pencils are bullshit. That's the... That's the end of the chapter. That's it. But enough about mechanical that pencils. That. Let's get back to our real pencil yeah. here. I'm this doing is pretty well. Great. Yeah, let's talk again about okay. how. Let's talk, let's bring this up. It's pretty good. It's not bad. I really want to write with it. Really bad. It's a shame there's no paper in the borough of Manhattan. <laughs> we'll never know if it I works. I want to write with this pencil. So it looks bad. good. You did a good job. I, I, Can I see it for a moment? You'll it's a little how, bit not clean and smooth on that side. That's all right. We could, we if we had some fine sandpaper, like something over 300 grit, we could uh, clean that right up. But I think you did a good job. I mean, this is what the tip point of a pencil would have looked like, you know, a hundred or so years ago. If we didn't so have ago. the grinding. Yeah. Did you use the grinding when you were in um, grade school, or did you always did you bring this to school when you were a wee boy? No, I I, I grew up sharpening on a uh, single blade wall mounted hand crank sharpeners. Sorry, you had to do that. I love it. There's a whole chapter in my book on it. Oh, good. Yeah. We have a comment from YouTube. Peter Sun Cinema. What kind of entry-level pencil would you recommend to an amateur pencil enthusiast? <sighs> amateur pencil enthusiast. I would say you need to invest in some well-made pencils. You need to experience what it's like to have pencils where the graphite is centered within the wooden shaft or barrel of the it's pencil. It's not usually, are they? I'll show you an example. Look. 
Look at the unsharpened end of oh, this God. piece of shit pencil. Oh my God. Right? Can you get this? How are you supposed to produce an even point when you're starting out with such compromised graphite placement? I bet you could. I could not, but I thank you for that. But I could not. <laughs> Next comment is not from um, Almond Baller. As a lefty, I hate pencils because of the smearing. Well, uh, Almond Baller and I have so much in common. Are you a lefty? No, I'm an almond baller. <laughs> uh, no, I am left-handed. And so, I, I, actually, in my own life, I don't use pencils because you do get the graphite smudge. Wait, 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 wait. The way I describe it is it looks like you've been karate chopping chimney sweeps. Mm -hmm. It's a mess. And so I, but as considering your profession, you'd think that that's like If David I said Reese, I was a brain like a surgeon, skinny chef, you if know? I said I was a brain surgeon, would you be like, oh, you operate on your brain? No. <laughs> well, I would never say that. You would. Next question. <laughs> DJ Mystico, if you could make a pencil a flavor, the pencil flavor, so when you chew on the end of it, it was okay, what would you want it to taste like? Well, there's an appendix in my book, because I do love flavors, and I do love pencils. There's an appendix in my book of wines that taste like pencils. So I gave my friend who runs a wine store, I gave him a Tupperware bin filled with pencil shavings, and he opened all these bottles of wines in his cellar, and we tasted wines that taste like pencils. If you find yourself overwhelmed with desire for pencils, such that you want to swallow pencils, you want to consume them, I don't recommend doing that, but I do recommend drinking a lot of wine that tastes like pencils. So there is a list here. I, I don't know if that user is old enough to, to purchase and drink alcohol legally, but when he or she is of age, they should rec they should uh, that they should is, look at my pencils. Because I have to pencils. pencils. Did you test them too? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <laughs> but I mean, do you have a palate for that? Are you like, ah, oh, were you just like, this one, pencils, this one. I imagine you just like. <laughs> it was a little more articulate than that, but, but yeah. I imagine you just like being overwhelmed with desire and love for the wine that tastes like pencils. I'm, I I'm envisioning the whole nice scene evening. right now. I will say that it was a nice, nice evening. Yeah. It was fun. I recommend it. Do you think you can it. find love after experiencing that? I don't know. I just felt. I just. I just feel like that would be I'm, really. I'm not sure where we are right now. What? I just feel like that would be like a like nothing could compare. Oh no, other things are fun too. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, I have a broad uh, palette of desires. Okay. Next comment from YouTube is from Fusion Knots. Why do you like pencils? Uh, no one's ever asked me that before. Um, <laughs> This is what happened. I got a job working for the United States Census Bureau, knocking on doors and recording people's information with a... Pencil. Right, on a Scantron sheet. And on the first day of staff training, they had us all stand around and sharpen pencils with little tiny pencil sharpeners. And I had, so, I had been so long since I had sharpened a pencil, I was like, this is fun. I wonder if I could get paid just to do this, just to sharpen pencils. So that's when I started my website. I have sharpened almost 800 pencils for paying customers since I launched my business. Was there an extraordinary pencil that you came across? Well, usually I supply the pencils, but I do like it oh. when somebody sends me some old ratty pencil yeah. and they're like, I've had this pencil since I was in third grade, and then I sharpen the shit out of it. It was fucking amazing. Gosh, do that, guys. All right, thank you, David Reese. Thanks.